Hi, here let us study this problem. A ball is thrown upwards from top of a tower 40 meter high with a velocity of 10 meter per second. Find the time when it strikes the ground. We have to take small g that is acceleration due to gravity as 10 meter per second square. Suppose this is the tower and the tower is A and C. The height of tower is 40 meter and we throw the ball from A, it goes up to B and from B it starts coming down and here it comes at C. We need to find what is the time when it strikes the ground. This is the upward direction will take as negative and the downward direction will take positive and acceleration due to gravity that is G is also working downward. So this direction will take as positive and the upward direction will take as negative. So while going from A to B, what happens? Let's analyze that uh, we read the equation V is equal to U plus AT. Well, no problem. And here we see uh, U, there is some value because that is a 10 meter per second, which uh, 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 we have thrown this yeah that is given in the question and acceleration due to gravity is in opposite direction because you are going up acceleration due to gravity is working down that is minus 10 t so well uh, that means uh, the time taken from a to b is one second now let's find out what will be the distance well we'll use the second equation s is equal to ut plus half a t square and s uh, that is from a to b that distance is uh, ut u is 10 and t is one second just now we calculated minus half a t square why we use uh, uh, minus because uh, acceleration due to gravity is in a positive direction and t is square t is one so square of one is also one well we get five meter that is pretty simple this is 10 and this is half and then 10 that is 5 so 10 minus 5 is 5 meter now let us look at the motion uh, from b to c from b to c we'll see the distance covered is uh, uh, a to c is already there 40 and a to b is 5 so the dis so here uh, distance from uh, b to c is uh, 45 now let's use this equation s is equal to ut plus half at square here the initial velocity will be zero because this ball goes up here the velocity becomes zero so the moment it is zero uh, well u is zero so what will be t here t will be if it is zero here that means uh, the t will be under root 2s over a so 2 into s which is 45 divided by a which is 10 that is 90 divided by 10 that is 9 and you need to take under root of this that is 3 seconds so time taken from b to c let me just come here time taken from b to c is uh, 3 second so what is the total time so total time is 1 second here plus 3 second here so the total time taken is 4 second that's all so total time is time from a to b and time from b to c that is 4 second well alternatively you can also solve this problem like this you have this equation as is equal to ut plus half a t square and here as a as you need to take displacement and you Take displacement in negative direction that is minus 40 and uh, this direction the upward direction you take plus downward direction you take minus so here minus 40 is equal to 10 t minus 5 t square because uh, acceleration due to gravity is working down so we have this 5t square minus 10t minus 40. Why? Because minus 5t square in the, on the left hand side 
and the minus t minus 40. Now we need to take the factors of 5 and uh, uh, first we need to divide this by 5 so it's t square minus 2t minus 8. Now the 8 has to be like uh, sub, uh, we need to factorize 8 in such a way like uh, after subtracting we get 2 so 4 and 2 that's the two factors so 3 is square minus 40 plus 2t minus 8 is equal to 0 and then simply t is a common here t minus 4 plus 2 common here t minus 4 so the net result is t minus 4 or t plus 2. So that means t is 4 or t is minus 2. Well, we take t as 4, t minus 2, we just simply discard. So here you have a tip and it says that the displacement, uh, s is the displacement, not the distance. And of course here a resistance has been neglected. The another important aspect here is just look at this t minus 2. What does it mean? It simply means here time is minus 2. Because here is 1 second, here it's 3 second, 4, and here is minus 2. That's it. Because uh, you start throwing ball from A and it goes to B and then come back to C.